Let's talk a little bit about the data set. Let me load its description. So uncomment this, shift enter to run the cell. So this cancer data set contains 569 samples. And these are digitized images of fine needle aspirates or FNAs or of breast cancer tumors. So this is labeled data. There are about 30 features um, that describe each sample and each sample is labeled malignant or benign. So let me let me show you. So let's say print cancer features feature names and print cancer target names. So these are the features that describe each sample. So each sample has a mean radius, mean texture, mean parameter and so on. And these are the labels. So based on the samples, based on e these descriptions, each sample is labeled malignant or benign. Um, so in machine learning, we feed this data into the algorithm telling it, um, hey, algorithm, look, a sample with this mean radius, mean texture, and so on. This is a malignant tumor, or this is a benign tumor. And this is how the algorithm learns. After we train the algorithm, we can test it against new data where we only specify the features and uh, we require it or we ask it to predict whether we're dealing with a malignant or benign sample. I've told you that this data set comes preloaded with scikit-learn, meaning that it's already cleaned and pre-processed, ready to be fed into the classifiers or ML algorithms. Let me show you how it looks like. So print, or just simply call cancer data. So this is a, um, let's check its type. This is a NumPy array and its shape or how it looks like. So cancer data shape. So it's a NumPy array and as we already know, 569 rows and 30 columns. So think of it like a table. Now let me show you how the real data looks like. So once again, uncomment this and um, show you how the data that's cleaned and pre-processed looks like. So this is the data that from which the algorithm learns. And I already have um, the raw data. This is this comes in CSV or comma separated value form. And this is available on the internet. And I also, I'm also going to post a link to it in my GitHub. So please see the description of this video. So each sample has an ID, a diagnosis, which is our target. And these are the fe features from column C all the way to column AF. So these are the the features that describe each sample and the the target or the diagnosis and 569 samples ignoring the header so there's a lot of ugly data in here data scientists have to clean it and optimize it based on whatever the machine algorithm they use in this case we'd have to convert everything uh, to to NumPy arrays, but in this series we're gonna work with the cleaned data, and um, we're gonna.
basically focus on machine learning algorithms and how to do machine learning. And maybe I'll do another series on data processing in the future. Anyway, in the next video, we're going to use train and test the first algorithm on this data, which is KNN or um, K nearest neighbors. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.